Hello. Look, I'm sleeping on a little bed now. Shadowbrunus has all sorts of places to nap. You gotta nap because now you're running up a mountain. We're going to Mount Golg now. Oh, there's a face here. Mount Golg. This is a dungeon known to be where people kind of, uh, it's like a test of water wall pools because it's very difficult to manage the water wall pools here. Not just because of the NPCs or anything, but just like, like regular, like with, with random players or even just between friends or whatever, like maintaining your mitigation and heals for the water wall pools is, uh, this is, this is where it's at, because things hit hard here, and it's, uh, with the NPCs, okay, also, this big ad is gonna do a long, like, attack, okay, so watch out for that, um, okay, and then it looks like it goes over there, so, gotta go pick that up, no, okay, see, this ad, it's gonna do a long AoE down, so as you're running up to grab all this stuff, get out of the way, and also if you're back there, make sure you're getting out of the way. Also, yeah. Um, they were all targeting one of the ads, so I got had to go pick it up by myself. Um, yeah, this can be a little difficult to manage, but if you can manage to do this, then, you know, you're a good tank, and and or you're a great healer, you know, whichever one you're playing. Yeah, this is definitely the dungeon I hear people mention the most whenever a conversation about water wall pools is brought up. Okay, there are like AoEs and stuff to watch out for in here, okay. Our last dungeon, Malika Wells, you know, they staggered things out, but here things take a while to go down and they hit hard, so you gotta be focused. notice there are like rocks everywhere, right? Yeah, so now the rocks are in our way, but yeah, wow, they exploded and more stuff come out. So I'm gonna grab these, and again I'm watching my mini-map up here, and I'm even turning my whole self around to make sure they're following me, because it's tricky. It's tricky when we got an incline, okay? Because it just it changes the it's it changes the way the AI works. See, they're still parked all the way down there. Cause technically, this amount of distance, like they can still see because I'm going up in the Z axis, and so they can still see from all the way down here. So even if I go all the way up here, they're still gonna be able to see. So they're not gonna move. So once I go down <coughs> the little hill, they'll probably start moving up a bit. But yeah, see, they're just taking their time. Where are they even? Taking their time. You know? Okay, so one of them actually ended up back there. So I'm like, dang it. So I gotta go grab it, you know? Try, try to do water wall pools, you guys. You gotta, you know, come with me. Okay. It, it is very difficult to manage the NPCs in this, like... Again, to explain it, okay, I'm just picking up all these. Like, with the ads, you can line of sight things. Just move yourself away. Okay, picking up this set of ads, watch out for this long AOE, okay? Especially if you're in the back. Like, oh gosh, okay. And then she has one over there, like this one. 
so I gotta make sure I go pick that up. Also watch out for these cones and circle AoEs. Um, so you can line of sight different things, and so if the enemy cannot see you, then it will move wherever so that it can go attack you, if you have aggro, right? Um, or enmity, same thing. But if the NPCs can still see the enemy, then they're not gonna move because they can still attack wherever they are. So in order to move the NPCs while attacking stuff, I would have to line of sight the enemies in a way where the enemies are line of sighting the NPCs. It's a whole thing, which is why very long drawn out paths can be a little difficult when you're running with the NPCs. If you're running with regular people, I mean, hopefully the regular people just follow you, you know, like if you're tanking, and if they have an enemy on them, they would and should just run it to the tank. Um, sometimes it doesn't happen and then the healer has to heal multiple people. Watch out for all these AoEs. Um, but yeah, again, playing with the NPCs just requires you to think about a few different things because sometimes they'll stand inside AoEs and stuff so you have to watch out for that. And then, like I said, I had to change the way I pull because I had to look backwards and make sure that everyone was still following me and told them. Yeah. Again, the benefit of running with NPC though is that you can go at your own pace, fast or slow. Um, easier to go slow, more difficult to go fast because then you have to manage if they're following you. Um, and, you know, if you have anxiety running with people, then this is a good way to practice the dungeons before running for the people. Okay, whoa, that was a big hand. That hand just knocked that rock off. Now it's a fist. Okay. It's the first time I really paid attention to that. Yeah, okay. So, like I said, we're running up this mountain thing, okay? I'm going all over the place, okay. Now we got the first boss. Look at this! Look at all this environment. Mm. Very tall, high up. Alright, turn the boss north per usual. Rake? Tank Buster. Okay, Lumen Infinitum. Okay, he's gonna turn around to wherever and he's gonna like do an attack. And it's like a, a line attack. Okay, so you just don't wanna stand in the way of that. It doesn't indicate where exactly, but you, j you look at the lion's mouth and then just avoid where it's standing, okay? So now, Typhoon Wind, you'll notice these circles are angled a certain way, so it's kind of like this, like this, like that. Okay, so you want to stand basically between them. So as you can see, this one is going like this, and then this one is facing that way, so it's going like this. So. So you have a bit of time before um, the cast to just look at this, but then if you didn't see it yourself real quick, then they do show where it's going to hit. And then you can just adjust out of that so you don't get hit with it. I will see that again later. Okay, Cyclone Wing. This is a raid wide. Typhoon wing again, okay, so we got these things again. So you want to stand between them so you don't get hit. I'm going to stand in it to see what happens. So I got almost 4,000 damage and then a bone stack. Okay, Lumen Infinum again, see? So he faces a certain direction and you can kind of see from his mouth that there's like light coming out, so it's gonna be a line AoE like this way. So you just don't wanna be in that path. Now, 
I ran into that a little late. I was trying to see how much damage I would take. But yeah, it's it's about whether you get into it, like, and get into the snapshot of it. But like, I got in at like if the animation is still going, you know, like you might see me run into things right after it explodes but the animation is still going and that's because of the way this game works it snapshots as soon as like uh whether you're inside it as soon as the cast is done or uh depending on your ping if it you know what? i'm not gonna get into that it's a whole thing it's a whole thing that can be a whole different video or you can go look it up from other people okay mechanic wise let's go look at this so we got these things again for typhoon wing like this okay so we're gonna get these cones right but then there's also like these things on the side and there's probably some on this side so you gotta stand in the safe area but then oh there's also one in the middle okay so here we go we got this one on the side being a circle and then we got a circle over here and then we got a circle over here and then looks like we got a big circle in the middle so and then, and then we got these cones. So the safe spots are gonna be here, here, and like down here. I didn't make it out of that, but I, I so then I got hit with Hurricane Wing. It's probably the thing that I, the AOE, and then I got another Volum stack. So that. So so that one you want to move further out. Okay, Cyclone Wing. This one's gonna be the raid wide. Break, tank buster. Lumen, okay, see, so it turned and faced a person. So, Alpha Nod right now. I'm gonna get hit with it. Yeah, okay, so I get hit almost 5,000, and then I got a bone stack. Okay, so you don't wanna get hit with those, or else you're gonna start collecting bone stacks. So here we've got these things, these cone ones, but then after a beat we got these little circle ones on the sides, okay? So I'm gonna move it back a little and there we go. You can see I, I saw that these things were forming and then I learned from the first time that there was also one in the center, even though it's kind of hard to see with all these colors here. So I definitely was out of the cone. <clears throat> and then I backed it up enough, and then as soon as these ones on the side, like, as soon as the the visual of it shows, I'm like, okay, I just need to adjust myself a little bit to get into the clear spot, and then I'm okay. So yeah, if you can't read that, you have a bit of time to adjust once it shows visually where it is. But okay, that was a raid wipe. We got a tank buster. The lumen thingy again to get out of the line wherever the mouth is facing. Okay, typhoon way again, but yeah, we took it down. Almost resting. Okay. Next set of ads. Um, it's gonna be a little different. Uh, I'm gonna pull it all, and if you remember in one of the dungeons, I don't recall which one it is exactly. Oh, okay, see here, I noticed there was one here, and also, yeah, so I went back to grab it. There's a dungeon, maybe it's Amdapur Keep, or the Lost Seat. Andapur or or even the Goo Ball Library. Basically you're fighting a wall. Um that's what we're gonna do here. We're gonna fight a thing that comes out of a wall. Okay? So here we go. Here's the wall dude. It's just a huge wall, so I'm gonna bring everything up here. Okay, well he also kind of sucks people in. 
so now okay Earthshaker we got big AoEs going out so find a safe spot to stand okay uh, so this one we got the two kind of overlapping here but these are safe spaces up here up here you can stand up here It might be better to just stay closer to the boss because then see I'm up here and I'm like okay now all of this is not good so I can just very quickly go to this side. I'll change the color so it's a little easier to see. Is this easier or worse? This one? <laughs> this one? Red. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go yellow. Wait, but then it's yellow on yellow. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to blue. Never mind. How about green? Do green for now, even though I don't like it. Okay, so again, make sure you're standing on the clear side. No, I'm just gonna go back to blue. Okay, so here it's doing this pattern, so we just stand up in the front. From what I can tell, it looks like it kind of points at random places. It doesn't seem like it's going, it's pointing at any specific person. But I don't know, I, I didn't have my camera panned back to see if it was targeting like Alphanod and uh, uh, Yerstola or anything. But there's there's definitely two counts there. Treasure chest. Ooh, cubes! We got cubes. Also, look at like this architecture and like the statues and stuff over here. Dude, these are like huge statues and stuff. Okay. Um. I think this next pool is similar. Where we're gonna get like some wall situation. Alpha Nod is dimmed out and they're barely on my screen. So I'm like turning around. See, this is again that little incline. See, so it takes them a while to come up because they can still see the enemies. So you gotta, you have to keep going so that they can't see the enemy. So then they'll actually come up. Um, and then here's the wall. The wall add. Yeah, it's tricky. So you might want to go back to make sure there's no add on them, but then at the same time, oh, I always say she, she ran into the wall over there to dodge the thing, but she didn't actually get out of the way. Over here. See? Man. So you want to stand like over here or like here. What's if, like, what's that third for health? Hey, you want to dodge over here? And Alice just got hit again. But yeah, watch those inclines. If you're running with the NPCs. So you don't know if they're gonna follow you in time. And if you're getting hit with stuff, if you're tanking, then you might die. Which I've done a lot. Which I'm sure is in some of the footage, because I was still figuring out how to play with them. Okay, like before, just dodge all these cones, okay? There's space. It's better to stand up up close towards the wall, so you have more time to like move to stuff. Or less distance to move to stuff. To move to a safe location.
because there's basically almost always a spot somewhere up front because of the way cones work, you know? Geometry. Alphanon's feet are right here. Let's see if he gets hit. Yep. Okay, and these little ones do little cones too, so watch out for that. All right. Ooh, there's a treasure chest right here. Okay, this next boss is gonna be hard to see. Okay, this this is a you know a square divided so that there's nine spots, and the stage itself is also divided into like nine spots. Okay, and that's gonna be important to remember. And also notice that they're heads, okay? So... It might be a little difficult for melee because you can't pan your camera back as far, but try your best. For range, if you can, just, you know, you can scoot back because you can still reach the boss. But yeah, look at these statues, they're huge! I how people make stuff like that. You know, if it was in real life. Sacrament of Penance? That's a raid wide. Okay, so the Rubik's Cube boss, like, switches it up, okay? Look, now we got this configuration. Did you see that? Okay, just from this angle, you can kind of see. This top one has a face, this face, this face, this face, and this one, this face. So that means on the actual platform, this one's not going to be good. The middle one's not going to be good. This one is not going to be good. The one on the bottom here, do uh, it. So we got this square, this square, this square, and the one up north. So like this one, this one, etc. Um, you gotta kind of see it quickly. Like this is enough for me to indicate, okay, I got my free squares. But if you're not ready for it, you might get hit trying to decipher what the faces are and then you're standing in the wrong square. Okay, transforms again. And now this configuration, I'll back it up a little bit to try to see, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see, there we go, it's a, it's a T-shape, so the corners are good, so I'm going to stand in the corner. Now everyone's in a corner, except the carbuncle, but it does what it wants. Okay, so we're good. Cat chism. That's the tank buster. Okay, 13,000. Okay, that took my like half health, so you want to mitigate for that. Judgment day. What was that? Was it this? Was it this? Okay, we got some towers to soak. Looks like there's one back there too. Okay, Catechism again, so that's the tank buster, so I mitigated for that. Okay. Alright, it's changing, so now, what is it, what is it? Okay, so we got one down here, 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 so it's the X, okay, so north, west, east, and south are gonna be, f be okay. Alice, please. What are you doing? Oh, okay. So here, uh, you gotta remember the f good squares, but then also these orbs pop up. And the orbs are gonna do like AoE things, and so you're gonna have to dodge those too. So, I was like, okay. So this square, north square is fine, but the only spot that's available is this, this, this spot right here. Because this orb does a circle donut, and then there's another orb down here overlapping it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the safe spot. And remember, this is not the safe spot because there's a face up there. Uh, up there. And so this one's gonna explode. So I run over here, and I'm good. And then in the back here, 
um, this bottom one is going to explode, so that's not good, but you have this sliver of a spot you can go to, okay? And for the west side, uh, I guess you could stand right here, <laughs> it's kind of tight. Um, and then south side, okay, south side I think you could stand right here, so let's see, there we go. Yeah, 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 there we go. South side, you can stand right here. East side, you can stand here. North side, here. West side, right here. Okay, those are your safe spots. Okay, now this configuration... I saw the one on the bottom and I didn't really think about moving my camera because I was like, oh shoot the orbs, but actually for this one, um, it was, okay, well for one we got four orbs this time, so we got four overlapping donut things. Uh, north and south are not going to be clear just because this head is here. and. I didn't look up, so I got hit with it. Let's see, I was trying to look up and I was too far, but yeah. So I, so, see up here like that. So I got hit with this one, um, but the NPCs were fine because they stood in the correct position. Well, let's look at the correct position and then we'll go. So, here, west, and then east over here. Okay, so because I got hit, with the stuff like I was still standing in it. Let's see. Perfect contrition, perfect contrition. Okay, so I think I probably got hit because I stood in the donut AoE and I got Volan stacks for those. And I was able to man, I managed to get out of um, the north spot fast enough to not get hit with this this thing. Okay. But yeah, I was here and those went off. So I, I got those hits. So it looks like you don't, you really don't want to mess that up or else you might die if you're not the tank. Okay. That was a lot of damage. Okay, and that was a raid wide. Sacrament of Penance. Alright. So again, make sure that you can pan out and see the entire square, okay? Okay, so here it's the opposite of what we had just seen. So west and east are not going to be safe, but the other ones will be. But we might get some orbs to deal with. Yep, we got some orbs. So you can go north or south. And so here I'm going north. I got my spot. There we go. Dude, the carbuncle is just like scratching its ears. Okay, this is configuration again. North, uh, north and south are not good. And then we got the orb, so that would have been west and east configurations, but yeah. Man, that was a whole thing. You really gotta figure out your camera position for that. <clears throat> okay, this next pool is very difficult. Um... I would like to point out that there are one, two, three, four ads right here. Okay, I'm gonna pull all of this into the next area and then the next area. This is probably the most difficult pull. Um, not not just uh, because I'm with my, the NPCs, but like all these ads hit kind of hard and there's this long path to run but also because I'm running with the NPCs I have to keep going back to like make sure they're following me and because all this is clear space they can still see from all the way over there so it's kind of frustrating and then here we got the inclines we're going down and we're going up and so that means the NPCs are, NPCs are going to stop a lot because they can still see the enemies okay so I'm trying my best to keep going. I'm watching my minimap to see if any of them fall behind. Okay, and these ones got the, the long AoEs. I'm gonna grab this pack of ads. Very difficult to get the NPCs to follow me, but I'm trying my best. Keep keeping an eye on them. 
Um, as you see, I'm taking a lot of damage here. I popped my Invorm. And, uh, okay. I see that they're all up here, and I'm like, should I go to the next pack? I, I got it mostly controlled. Alright, so I'm gonna, gonna bring it up. We got AoEs to dodge. You stole this parking it back there doing stuff. And then these ads are staying back there, like, doing these things. Like the long AoEs, so they stop too. And so it can be kind of confusing when they're doing these long AoEs, because then I'm like, are they gonna follow me or are they not? So, there's a lot going on. But here's the last set of ads <laughs> that you can pull uh, for this pack. And as you can see, things hit pretty hard. So, it's a difficult pull and you really do have to manage your mitigation, but it's just like the amount of distance that you have to run and all the turns and stuff. And, and then in addition with the NPCs and their unique movement, it makes the whole thing very difficult. But since we're starting over, look, now we only have two ads here. I don't think we managed to kill any of them in the last round, but I think because we wiped the game probably makes it a little bit easier. So, I'm gonna go, try it again. I don't think I've ever even seen this whole pool done uh, with real players. I must not have tanked it and seen it, because I don't remember the feeling of success. I just remember people wiping here a lot. And usually they would stop just at the, the first two packs. So I'm going for it. I got my invuln. Alphana, where are you, buddy? Okay, Alice is here. Ustola is here. There's another dot back there. So Alphana's all the way back there. So see, it, it's kind of difficult to do this with the NPCs because you really gotta have your healer like hella up there with you. I'm sure it's very satisfying when you can accomplish it, but I was like, alright, I gave it two shots, so I think we're good. It's a notorious dungeon to do water wall pools, so it's, it's totally cool, you know, it, I was accepting that this is not the time to figure out how to do this, because I already wiped twice. But now look, there's just one ad, so it's a little bit, it's gonna be a little bit easier. Again, you don't have to do water wall pulls if you don't want to. Do whatever you're comfortable with, and if you want to figure out how to do water wall pools and like optimize your rotation and mitigation and all that stuff, then yeah. This pool in specific, this would be a great place to like really test yourself. Once you get like, once you start thinking, yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good to try for a very difficult water wall pool. This is one to really measure how good you are at maintaining all that. Because stuff just, again, hits hard, there's AoEs to dodge, things are far apart. Uh, if you didn't wipe, you may or may not have your mitigations up, but because I did wipe, all my mitigation came back. Like everything, all my cooldowns were reset, so it's fine, but yeah. Like this one is just like sliding around the whole time. Yeah, watch out for those long like line AoEs from the floating ones. Also, if you're a new healer and like someone is doing this wall to wall pulling stuff in this particular dungeon and you're not able to keep up with the heals, like it's it's not on you, okay? It's just, it's very difficult to do in general. So 
like just let the tank know that you're still new to healing and hopefully they like take it slower so you can do the healing that you're able to and then you know in the future if you feel like you've gotten better and or you want to test yourself and come back and be like hey pull as much as you want and then it's a whole thing right personal growth okay watch out for these aoe's here too and then we got these like long aoe's and we got the cones here Got another ad here. Okay, there are orbs here. They're gonna target two random people and just um, do attacks. Okay, it's not just these orbs. There's some like in the back there too. But it looks like two of them go at a time. Also, this dude, he's raising one arm and he'll slap a whole side of the stage, and this is gonna happen a few times. Okay, so you gotta watch. You gotta watch these arms. His hands. Okay, so he's lifting the left arm now, and so that means this whole side, the right side of the stage is gonna get slapped. This is his left arm, but it's the, this side. Okay, so just match the side and get out of that side. And then also dodge these line AoEs from the orbs all over. They're kind of standing in the AoE. Ishtola. Okay, so now this orb is going off this way and this one this way. See, so there's orbs back here and over there. Okay, right arm is up, so this whole side is gonna get slapped. Let's move to the other side. You guys, I just said. Looks like they didn't get hit that much, but I mean, it can add up, okay? So watch out for the little line AoEs. Don't get slapped with from that side. Alright, alright. Okay. Okay, okay. That was nice of it to make a little step for us. Oh, she has a really like sharp toe. Okay, you'll notice these lines on the stage, okay, we'll keep that in mind for later. Orison Fortissimo, that is a raid white. Divine Diminuendo, okay, so we got an AoE right here. Okay, so just dodge out of that. Stop that, damn you! I don't care what oh, she just kicked me. Okay, diminuendo again. Just dodge out of that. Oh. But that actually turns into a, a different thing. 
Let's see if I can catch it. Grant your foe a ring of something. What was that? Ring of Radiance. Okay, so that's probably an addition to this, the Minuendo thing. That's where we get this thing. I'm gonna get it. This. This. Okay. So, as soon as you dodge this one, ju just go right at the edge of it. Don't go too far because now it, there's this extra ring, which might be that thing that they got. She got. Okay. So this whole area is not good. And then it also looks like, okay, you have another safe ring out there, but then it's also not good. So <clears throat> it's better to just, as soon as you escape this inside one, just stay, stay close so you don't get hit, okay? This is gonna be important for later. Okay, so here we got circle things on the side and we got this line AOE here, okay? You'll notice this triangle, uh, oh it's not a triangle, it's a diamond. It's a square turned, we'll call it a diamond, okay? But one of the ads at the very beginning, they had this thing and then they did a long line AOE. That's basically this, okay? So we gotta deal with that but we also gotta deal with these circles on the side. So. Let me erase this so it's not all over the place. Conviction Mercado. Okay, so I'm standing right where the circle thing is and I'm clearly taking a hit from it, okay? So let's, I get 6,000 thing and I get a bone stack. So you want to avoid the front, wherever the line thing is, okay? The, the diamond, wherever it's facing, you want to avoid that. And then you want to avoid the actual diamond, or uh, diamond, the circles. So you stand between the circles. Just like the other ba boss with the green, like, wind stuff, you stand between the circles. Okay. Or else you get a Vuln stack and you get 600, 6,000 damage. Something like that. Oh, maybe these are the rings. It's got these little, like, circles up there. Penance Pinissimo. Okay. Ooh, okay. So now we've got this circle of the stage, and then the rest of it is like shimmery. Oh, boom. I think I back up. Yeah, so when you- when, if you're standing in it, you get a bleed, okay? So don't stand in it. Once you leave, you lose your bleed, but yeah. Feather marionette. What's this? Okay. We got more. We got- we got some ads popping up. Looks like we can't target them, but they drop down. Okay, in different spots, and one of them's glowing, okay? The one that's glowing is the actual boss, BT dubs. Okay, so they all do this circle AoE, okay, and oh, looks like you can target them, and I was like, should I do damage? But I got hit with this thing. Divine Diminuendo because, and I got another bone stack, because of that mechanic that I mentioned before, um, that we need as a dodge. You know, well, I'll get it, I'll get it. So we got, we got the circles here, right? Okay. Let's see. At the last moment. Oh, dang. I'll get it. Yeah! Okay, so like what happened before, the boss has their whatever circle thing, and then these ones have their circle things too, okay fine, whatever. But because the boss has this extra thing, you know, you dodge the boss's inner ring thing, and then you have the clear layer, and then it's got a bad layer, and then you got another clear layer, and then you got a bad layer, okay? And so I, I basically, even though I'm not inside this circle or this circle or this circle, I'm getting hit by this boss. 
the divine diminuendo whatever thingy because I am in this spot which is a no spot for her the the original boss's thing okay so uh wait so where Alice is standing is a good spot okay so this is the clear spot but since there's some overlap here with this circle looks like it's just this spot over here and this spot over here that's the the clear spot okay does that make sense so when this goes off basically you want to find the glowing one stand outside of its aoe and just stay close because that's going to be your safe spot and and then like you know dodge this stuff okay okay Okay, so now here, they're all doing the line AoE, and they're facing a certain direction. And so, you want to focus on the main boss, okay, get out of her line AoE, but then dodge the circles, okay? For the ads, it's pretty clear, you just, you know, don't stand in any of this outside stuff, you know, whatever. But, what can be tricky is if you're dodging something for the ad, and you're like standing over here, on the outside, but then you're standing directly where this like circle beam is going to be so you got to stand between the things okay so there's over here so your safe spots are going to be like here back in the back there and then probably over here on this side be between this one and this one okay okay so they all came over here you can't really even see there's lots of stuff happening but but yeah Basically, you stand between the circles. Okay, Orison Fortissimo. This one is the Ray Blade. Okay, I'm gonna go back. Did that make sense? Does it? Does it make sense? Th this. This scenario. Okay. These line AOEs are not gonna change, so you can just just don't stand in them, but. You might think you can stand on the outsides of here, but if you do, you might get hit with these beams. So that's why it's better to go towards the boss and figure out where the clear space is going to be. And if you're running with NPC, you should follow them. Okay, so this spot is clear. But there's no telegraph AoE, and then the beams go like this, and, and you're okay in, inside here. Like this, okay, see? The beams went like this, this, this. There's all this like whooshy stuff here because of their like wing things. It's just effects and stuff, but yeah. Okay. Uh, Fortissimo, so that's the raid light. Solitaire ring. Okay, so I kind of heard something uh, from the audio, and I didn't see anything happening in this area, so that's why I turned my camera around. Okay, so I got to pick up on those cues. Sometimes, if you're tanking, there might be stuff popping up behind you. <clears throat> Yeah, and I also saw this stuff glowing, so that's what indicates to me there might be something behind me when I turn. Okay, so now we got all these, like, glowing orb things. Okay, okay. Ooh, they're, like, circling. Okay, so this one's different. And so I'm like, if this went in a certain order, this is probably gonna blow up first. So I'm gonna run to the last one. So, you go back here, and look, the beams are going off. As soon as this beam goes off, you run off to the side so that this one doesn't hit you. And you have a bit of time. You have a little bit of time because this one is further than the other ones, you know? It has to travel further to go into this thing to blow up. So, but you have to be quick on your toes. As soon as it hits, then you move. Okay. So that's what these stage lines I mentioned were useful for. 
Okay, next move. Sacrament Sforzando. I think that's how you pronounce it. That looked like a tank buster. Yeah. Yeah, like 10,000. Fortissimo, the Raidoid. Diminuendo, okay. We got the AoE to watch out for, and again, I'm standing right outside the thing so I don't get slashed with the outside ones, okay? She's got like extra rings here. Did she always have those? Pianissimo. Okay, we got the bleed shimmery stuff. The holographics. Okay, don't stand in them. Feather marionette. So it is gonna have those extra ads pop out. You don't have to attack them at all, they're just like clones, they're just there for the mechanic. So you gotta find the, the glowy one, okay here she is, so I'm gonna stand close, and I'm like, okay shoot, where am I- oh so close, so close to not getting hit with that, but yeah, you get what I mean, right? You wanna hug the, the, the thing, basically. You want to hug, you know? So, see Alpha Nine and your stroller are pretty close. Alice does whatever she wants. Oh, actually, Alice was fine. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I should have stood closer. That's, it. That's a tricky one. Okay, I know it's a little hard to see, but here, it's like this. And then it's like this. So her feet was right inside and my feet were right outside. Okay, so you want to be in this area or this area over there. So I took 6,000 and a bone stack. Okay, and now this one, remember, don't worry about the outside. Just don't stand in the ones on the outside. But watch out for the middle boss where this one is pointing okay it's pointing south s in this configuration is north but whatever um stage relative it's south okay and then uh watch out for the circles stand between the circles so you don't get hit with the beam i just fought the npcs just to be sure because i was like i already got hit with the other one but yeah okay That's okay. This one's the tank buster, the Sforzando. Right? Fort Sando's the uh, tank buster. Just double checking. We, we killed the boss, but I'm just double checking here. I was able to mitigate some of that, but yeah, that's a tank cluster. But yeah, cool, we did it. Man. I think that ring mechanic with the AoE is probably the most difficult. And so, again, just the glowing one go to that and stand just right at the edge of the circle you can see so you don't get hit with it okay that's, that's the only way i'm able to kind of understand how to get there fast cool now we're gonna go to a trial well i was just looking at the environment despite what this place represents, it still looks pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, okay. Oh look, I'm napping there. Oh, I restarted it. This 
Batesy Dubs is at Tomra. Um, and if you're a Lalafell, you can go into the dwarf's house and, um, you know, explore and stuff. It's adorable. Okay, goodbye.